Hey guys and welcome back to my learning space. If you're not new to my channel, you'll know that I like to make videos that maybe are not so much talked about like that thing that Coltrane did to How High the Moon via satellite or breaking down the harmonic minor scale into chords or reharmonizing using the harmonic minor. Well, today's video is no different. I want to talk about something that I think will be very useful for you. And I make these kinds of videos because these are kind of, let me, I won't call them tricks, but for lack of a better word, I'll say tricks. These little things that sort of help you to understand harmony a little bit better. And I think this tool as well is gonna help you do that. When I was doing my undergraduate studies, my piano coach at the time would always um, tell me this quote about Thelonious Monk where he would say that a half diminished chord is a minor chord with the six in the bass. For instance, in the key of D half diminished, it would mean that we're playing F minor with the six. Now, if this is the case, then it technically, technically means that whatever we play on F minor, We can also use when we are using a half diminished chord. So the tune that I was playing earlier was called Cheesecake and I picked it because it does this thing of moving um, from minor flat five to then the actual minor chord and in this respect we would use what i'm talking about here where if we're going to play lines that reference f minor we can also play them um, when we have half diminished so the b section well not the b section but the second part of the a is so this part exactly If you think about it, it's the voice is as simple as possible. This is the D um, half diminished with the eleventh, which basically is the melody, because it goes da, da, and then it goes to G seven. If you think about it, F minor seven and B flat seven as well are exactly the same thing, because if I have G seven, I have the uh, seventh and the third. But if I were to keep these and just add the chord tones of B flat seven, it will still it still functions. You know they are related to each other because now this becomes a flat nine, this becomes a five. But I can still keep this upper structure here and play G. Now this becomes a seventh. This is the flat nine and the five. So this two five actually the whole two five is related to each other that's why it works so well when going from one to the other that's why it works so well going from one to the other because they are related chords so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take a line or a phrase that comes up and see if I can actually employ that same phrase over F minor, so I'm gonna start it in the two. So let's do something like. Can you see that that same thing worked? I did. But obviously here when I land, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to E flat minor. So I sort of changed the line up a bit. Or if I can take the F minor arpeggio, same thing. There's nothing more for me to say about this 
this was just merely for you to understand that a half diminish is literally a derivative of a minor chord don't separate the two because then you'll find yourself isolating chords and your playing is going to sound isolated as well when you're trying to achieve a, a solo that's more flowing or even just chordal movement that's more flowing it comes with the understanding that there are always relationships with chords within harmony in general we have very few chords and all the other chords are derivative derivatives of major minor and dominant so take a tune that uses this uh, the tunes that i can think of a beautiful love um blue bossa as well da, you know does this and um whatever other tunes probably a lot of minor tunes do this because they like to go from the minor to the relative major i think all the things you are also does that at some point um so yeah put this in use and i think you might find it useful especially when you improvise because now you won't have to isolate things but you can think about more openly um yeah i hope this helped um leave a comment for me in the comments and subscribe if you have not subscribed and um i do have a paypal as well you know if you'd like to donate a once off donation or you can be my patron on patreon um yeah so i'll see you again in the next video bye